Hey everyone, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In this episode of Master Your Tone, we discuss using pedals with one of the most beloved tube amps, which is also one of the least overdrive pedal friendly ones, the Fender Blues Junior. In Master Your Tone, we discuss, well, tone. We all love guitars and we want to sound great, but for that, we have to understand guitar rigs to be able to get the most out of them. If you enjoyed this series, make sure to like this video, subscribe and ring the bell. Why do I say that Blues Junior is one of the least overdrive pedal friendly amps? Well, first of all, it's a small combo. And second, it has a really strong character that doesn't really work with each and every overdrive pedal. Some say it sounds a little boxy. Some others say that it has like a strong and hunky mid-range. I mean, as told, it's a small combo with obvious limitations, but if you know how to set it and which pedals sound great with it, you can turn it into a very versatile little amp. It's also important to know that there are currently two different versions of the Blues Junior, the standard black one in its fourth iteration and the Tweed model. The standard Black Tolex Blues Junior has a 12-inch Selection A-type speaker, which sounds rounder and much more natural with pedals compared to the Tweed model, which has a 12-inch Jensen C12N speaker and sounds much more chimey and vintagey. The downside of that is that it's much harder to make this one sound even remotely modern if you want to get a big rock tone with pedals. First thing I do with the Blues Junior is turn down the mids and push the bass. Don't worry, it will not sound scooped at all because the amp has such a pronounced mid-range. Another important thing to do is to test the volume and master setting. You can either go for a high volume, low master or for a low volume, high master setting. Both can work well and you should test which one sounds nicer with your drive pedal. <laughs> Now finally, let's test the amps with a few beloved overdrives. A Tube Screamer type pedal, the JHS Bonsai, I'll keep it in the TS9 setting. The Boss Blues Driver, much more scoop tone and more low end, more treble. A Blues Breaker type pedal, the Castleter Toxic Twins, this is a very balanced and kind of sweet sounding low to mid gain drive. And for high gain, I use the mighty Friedman BEOD. <laughs> Thank you. 
if you want to go even further with tweaking the tone of the amp, you can use an EQ pedal. You can put it anywhere in the signal chain, but if you want to hear some radical EQ changes, try it as the last pedal on your board, so right in front of the amp. My impressions, if you want to get your tone mainly from your pedal board, using overdrive pedals, effects and everything, and use the amp to literally just amplify your tone, I would highly recommend using the, the black one. This one with the uh, Selection A-type speaker sounds much more balanced, more modern, has a little less scratchy um, treble, which works much, much easier with pedals. Using an EQ pedal makes a lot of sense, of course, if you want to sort of uh, balance out the amp's own character a little more to make it even more versatile, but it's not that necessary. And about the Tweed model, I absolutely adore its tone on its own, but as soon as you use pedals, overdrive pedals, distortion pedals, even fuzz, that super chimey, crazy treble is a little overwhelming. Um, for that reason, I would definitely recommend using an EQ pedal for the Tweed model. Uh, that makes it all work. You can get rid of that crazy sparkle if you don't need it, and you can still disengage the EQ if you just want to enjoy the amp's original tone and you don't have an overdrive in front of it. Other than that, I would definitely use mid-humpy pedals with the Tweed version, uh, and definitely not scooped ones with a lot of treble, because that's just going to be too much. Let me know in the comments below what you want to know about guitar rigs and what you find confusing about them. For example, do you want to see a very similar video with other amps that are tricky with overdrive pedals? I'm looking at you, Vox AC30. And of course, with all this tone talk aside, what really matters is to enjoy playing the guitar, regardless of the rig and how good it sounds. See you in the next one.